talk about when it's time to cut a toxic employee out of your business to let somebody go because they can be a cancer in your business and if you let it go on too long, you're gonna pay the price and the repercussions because you didn't take action sooner. But this is a progressive thing. Sometimes you gotta go through it and then learn and feel the pain so you can get better in the future. Are you going through this in your business? I wanna tell you a story. So I had a, a toxic employee that would, well actually, he was a great guy. He was awesome and he was good at landscaping. But he would lose his cool and throw stuff and cuss really loud on properties. And I would like, every time he would do it, I asked why I was afraid to confront this employee and just say, hey, we don't do that. That's all I had to say. Did you feel that? Hey, we don't do that. Pause. So simple now. Hey, we don't do that. Simple! But instead, I would build up this whole emotional thing and be like, oh my god, I hope the customer ends. Because when I would go to confront this person, they would go, what? They would get upset, right? Now, whatever is happening, I think work should be a place, it's like a sanctuary when you come to work. We have a camaraderie, we have a brotherhood, we break bread together, and it's a place like you can leave whatever's going on at home or in your life, and you could come to work and have a sanctuary. So, and you might be creating the environment to allow that stuff to happen and not even be aware of it. My first few years in my landscape business, I was bringing my emotions out at work because I was, I was bottling them up and I would live those kind of nightmares out in front of my first few employees and get upset and talk about what I was going through. <laughs> Bad mistake. Because now you've set a precedent where it's okay for them to now start talking about their stuff. And now you become more like friends instead of the role you're playing of like you're supposed to be the leader and they're supposed to be, you know, working, which is great. You appreciate them, of course. But now it's changed the dynamics of the relationship where there's unhealthy boundaries that aren't being set. And, mm -mm -mm, and you're paying for the whole thing. You're paying for all of it. So if you want to spend 10 minutes talking to an employee about something, and now what are they going to do? Now they're going to share something with you for 10 or 15 minutes and then share it with someone else. And now you've got this whole unproductive environment and you're paying for it. So when I would confront this employee, he would get upset and make excuses. And I didn't know how to just stop. Now you're, I don't even like the word employee, the team member, they want you to draw a line in the sand and just say, Hey, we don't do that. So now they can have feel the boundary. Now this should all be structured out and you know in the job description when you hire them with a code of conduct and employee handbook but forget all that for now this is just we're talking about trust if they feel that boundary they might inside or at some higher subconscious level be thanking you because now work is not a place for drama it's a place to work and then it could become a sanctuary right because you said you drew the line now here's what it was I finally let this employee go. And I probably wouldn't have had to if I would have just fixed it. But hey, we learn. So here's what happens next time. You feel that thing come up, it's the red flag. The employee is working, yells, F. You literally have to face it right then and there. Hey, we don't do that. And if, if they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't do that because all it takes is one customer to hear it and a bad review and it could start ruining your reputation of your business. And then you have to check yourself because everything you do, I've learned this in marketing. I was in multi-level marketing when I was younger and everything you do gets duplicated, right? So if you're cussing a lot and on the job sites and stuff, I cuss a little bit and it gets out of hand, boom, you've set the precedent. So think about that. So, what is it? If you've gotten all the way to the end of this video, put in the comments, hey, we don't do that. <laughs> and don't let a toxic employee ruin your business. This is your business. It's totally okay to have a conversation and let that employee go if you have to. And write and document all this stuff too as well.
Oh, one more thing. I put together a free PDF guide for you. It's the four steps to training employees. This is very specific. It shows you what to do. Go to keithkelfis.com slash four steps, the number four and steps, and you can download it immediately. I'll also put it in the link in the description below.